All right, what's up, y'all? I'm over here in, uh, in Macon, Georgia, and um, I interviewed this guy one time before. Man, tell everybody what's your name again. It's your boy, your mother nigga, live with mother Charlie boy, nigga. Okay, and so I'm back over here in uh, Macon, Georgia, and um, so he told me a lot of things been going on around here. First of all, you had mentioned um, about a friend of yours, because last time we talked about another person who deceased, you know, because of some stuff in the streets or whatever, and you said this right here was uh, um, like, I guess like a kind of, Memorial or something to a person. Oh, so what happened right here? Yeah, then my dog right here. My dog, he got killed when he was 16. You know, nigga soldier hating on, you know, nigga in the circle. Back door, my dog, you know, long little pistol peak, gangster peak. One of the realest nigga do it from that bottom to 16 years old. Believe that. Who? How long ago was this? It was like by February, February 22nd, 2014. And he was 16 years old? 16 years old. Jeff turned 16 years old. So what, what was, I mean, what led up to that? Was it, did you? Led over, you know, soldier hang, you know, nigga seen my dog get some money. Nigga snaked over some little money, dog. You know, little situation, you know. How the shit been going on, man? You know, I just shot my first music video right here. Before I shot my first music video, I fucked around to get locked up right here on this same street. Police draw down on me, about to kill me. A whole bunch of shit been going on, dog. Whole bunch of shit been going on, man. They done had helicopters riding through this motherfucker. SWAT team riding through this bitch. Jump by boy about 30, 40 deep. Every fucking day riding this bitch, man. Been real hot. So, okay, so what's the name of this neighborhood again? Oh, this Juniorville. This the dog side right now. We on the west side, west making. And Juniorville right now. Long live Big Dog. Long live Dorsey. Long live F. Believe that. Okay. And I don't know if we talked about it, um, we may have mentioned that last time, but is there any people that people who watching this may know whether in entertainment or sports that came out of um, making oh, yeah. Georgia? Yeah, my motherfucking boy QT. Shout out to motherfucking Detroit Lions. I know they motherfucking slacking this year. Oh, he's from my here. Boy, yeah, my boy, my boy Quentin Cephas in the motherfucking NFL. QT, he going hard. Y'all keep turning my boy up straight from right here, straight from that mat time, straight from that dog side. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh -huh. So, so what's like, uh, is there any plans for this neighborhood as far as the city that you know of? Cause I know I mean, it's- yeah, we got plans, yo, we got, um, oh yeah, we got a motherfucking casino on the way to the motherfucking mat time. We got a whole bunch of Oh, they, they bringing casinos down here? Yeah, we finna have casinos. They finna all build that bitch at, um, the old mall everybody used to thug it. I guess they're gonna be- What mall is that? On the Macon Mall. Oh, Macon Mall. Is, is it still mall. there? Yeah, it's still here. Oh, it's still okay. standing strong. So what street we walking down now? Oh yeah, we on popping right now, man. Let me tell y'all the story. I remember I was 14 years old shooting basketball right here. When I see my first motherfucking shootout, the basketball fucked around and hit the rim. I run to go get the ball. I look up, I see the nigga that coming for nigga, whatever the situation was. I see the nigga get popped at 14. I was like, damn nigga, just like that. So most of the-, the Oh yeah, the, free Ladonk until I met my nigga Ladonk on this same street when I was 14. So most of the, um. The street violence that happened around here, is it mostly gang related? Or is it be a whole, it be bullshit be going on. You know, like every city, be bullshit going on, real shit going on. You be having fuck niggas. You got down in situation, man, a whole bunch of shit. A okay. whole bunch of shit. So I'm, I'm gonna ask you something. You don't, you don't have to ask it, but are you, are you a gang member? I mean, you know, I'm a product of my environment. Okay. Say, <laughs> okay, good enough. My dirt bike guy, you know, on bike life, you know. Them bitch been fucked, you know them bitch just hop, you know, jump out boys just hopped up on me last week on Key Street in the hood. For real? Holy fuck with a nigga, man. We had a great, hey, we had a great motherfucking yard, though. So. Motherfucking head low there, man. Hey, head low. Are you from Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Man, listen, man, I'm fucking with Ice World Vezo. Babyface Ray, P, oh, okay. yeah. T, T, yeah. Bad Gang, I was Cameron. driving down the street filming in Detroit one time and some of his people was out doing the video, right? It was one of my videos. Yeah. 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 My, si my six mile niggas, seven mile niggas, yeah. eight okay. mile niggas. Yeah, from that Mac time to that D time. For real though. Yeah. And get what? Nigga won't even believe it, but you know they rated making with Flint. Real shit. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in Flint. Oh, That's right. like, you know, private. Just look around them motherfuckers. Right. Look around the motherfucker, look how we live. Yeah, I see. Yeah, but we came down that street. I know I was there last time and he showed me that mural right there. Yeah, you from right around, around yeah, here too? Yeah, right here. Check it out. 
Oh, oh okay. Yeah. I did this south. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? For the city. How long you been out? I've been out now about, about six months. About six months. Been turning over ever about since you been out. Okay, you know so. What I mean? So would you, how, how would you say, like in the seven years that you was gone, had this neighborhood changed and has it changed for the better or for the worse or is it about the same? For the worse, man. It's about, it about the same. You know what I mean? Where you standing at right now, like, nigga, shootouts are happening right here. Why shit. shit be going on? Right after the shootout clear out, it right back to the normal activity. Right That's just how custom we are to that shit, Ryan. Right? Right. You know what I mean? Across the street, right here, shootouts back and forth. You know what I mean? Different sides of time. Nigga might have beef with different sides of time. Whole lot of shit be going on out here. Shit, man, it ain't. Nigga know what's going on in Mexico. Nigga know what's going on in that Mexico. Like, like, it ain't never but some killing and gang banging. You know what I mean? You and it's sad to say, cuz, you know, nigga want, nigga want this generation to be on some more shit, but our city so fucked up. And right. like, you grow up in this shit, and then you gotta find your own route. Right. You know what I mean? You got yeah. certain niggas like that nigga on that wall, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Getting on that wall, I roll with him around different hoods. Not just our, not just the west side and the west bigger fuck. Not just our side of town, the south, the north, and the east. That nigga might be like, hey, head, hey, get them clothes out the trunk. I don't know what I'm finna do with these clothes, but when I get them and I take them in the high, I'm taking these clothes to kids. Yeah. Right. He buying, he buying brand new ass shit. I'm talking about. Back then, nigga, we was just diggers and chucks. <laughs> like, this shit you see me in right now, I had to grow into this shit. Cause our lifestyle was totally different. Like, right. nigga, nigga call hey, her baby, up, they call up. her baby LA for a reason, my nigga. You know what I mean? Right. Cause that how stuck on gang banging we were, cause we just grew up around that shit now, like, it's all we know. Until we, until we start finding our own route. You dig what I'm saying? Right, right, right. But that, that nigga right there, though, man. He's a major factor. If a, if a nigga from making man, they don't, don't know these nigga, nigga, nigga man. They they hate hate them. Nigga, they hate they soul. I watch dog. that nigga take care of a lot of these niggas who call themselves man kids. Uh -huh. You did what I'm saying? Yeah. How old? I'm how old was he when he lost his life? Cole was 39 when he passed away. When he called, say Flo. Uh -huh. Dre was 39 when he passed away. He was just about to turn 40. Yeah, yeah, he was born, yeah, 77, yeah, he about 40, yeah, 39 or 40, yeah. Just about the time for it, and he just had another birthday to just pass, you know what I mean? Uh, and you know, it, everybody, they call me his twin, they, like, they be thinking on his son and shit. And I might be, my mom might catch some shit from him, who knows, you know what <laughs> right. I mean? But at the end of the day, that nigga played a major factor in major a lot player. of our life. Major, oh, okay. I got a tattoo right here. Long live Trey, nigga, long live Gangster Andre Trey. Taylor. Right, okay. Gangster really Trey, do it Andre, Andre Taylor. Brought, brought their crib into Macon. Macon right. Jordan. You know what I mean? You got, nigga, you got a nigga like Zay Nate, you know what I mean? From uh, Insane, Long Beach, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. He came down here with it, you know what I mean? A head starter before the whole 912 movement pushed they line, you know what I mean? But when Dre brought it. Yeah. The shit just got up, nigga went up. Now, what's the, like, a lot of people, some people may not know a lot about other cities in this state. They ain't, you know, Everybody heard of Atlanta, number one. Yeah. What would you say is the main difference between Atlanta and Macon? I'm gonna tell you the difference. See, I'm getting to you real. That's why I'm glad my road. car brought you up here. Get to a road, man. Get the to difference road, between man. us and Atlanta, don't get me wrong, you know what I mean? They doing their thing when it comes to their gangster shit. They doing their thing when it comes to goddamn, you know, their banging shit. But any real nigga from Atlanta gonna let you know, Macon been set the standards. You know. They gonna talk about it. Any man. real nigga from Atlanta that know about Macon. We been set the standards. And it crazy, cause that shouldn't even be the type of time frame we on, but that's just how we growed up around this bitch. That, that's why I say just look around, like, any given set, in, in any given moment, my nigga, you out here with no security. This shit real out there, bitch. No security. The so hot right now, man, this bitch hot as You know fuck. how much killing going on down this bitch? I mean, I heard about this place, you know, in, in, man, in, in, the, in watch the, that car. In, in the last yeah. week, like, seven, eight shootings, broad daylight, well, right around here or just in the city, right period? Right around here. Right around right here. Right around on here. The Where's making it get on the door So, what, what, what about like, um, say like another city like Savannah? What, what about Savannah? How, how does that compare they to did, the city? They did, yeah. I salute, I salute Savannah. They doing they shit, but Savannah, right now they you know, they, they, they put on too. You know what I mean? Rest in peace to Camouflage. You know what I mean? Savannah been doing their thing, and they, I can't lie, Savannah, uh, Columbus, Columbus Augusta. Albany, 
in Augusta. Yeah. You know what I mean? They've been in the loop. Oh, yeah. But you know, they 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 wanted to the got now out of the top five, like we the fifth. You know what I mean? On the bigger city platform type shit. Right, right. But it's so much private and so much killing going on around this bit. It pushing people out the city. We trying to find a better way. That like me, I'm trying to find a better way through the music. I came home with a different plan. When God set my ass. What, what is what is your plan since you since you got out? Oh shit, I'm fucking with the music. You know what I mean? On on the, on the back Turn end, on the back end, I'ma got them investing, got now landscaping, real estate, right, right. car dealership. That's all that I did all my research on that while I was locked up. Got my GED. I got a couple of goddamn. Got a couple of bands up under my belt. You know what I mean? We doing we doing an huh. interview right now, baby. You wanna say hey, Tom? Let me say this, cause let me say this right here. Gangsta J was my best friend. Uh -huh. Even though I'm a little uh -huh. younger than Baby Come on, man. Dre. That that one ain't rehearsed. Gangsta yeah. Dre was one of my best friends. My baby daddy, Greg D, that did the video. Don't count him out. Because he's a be the big boy. He love fucking this but area. Lord, he Love, the door side, baby, but Gangsta Dre used to buy every motherfucking thing out my motherfucking hood. He was just it. He yeah. didn't give a he fuck what it cost because yeah. I stayed who I am in a dress chill. That motherfucker that opened the trunk, but that ain't now motherfucker I see. Gonna be Gangsta Dre. <laughs> Real, okay. real legend. That's some legend shit right there. I ain't know him, but he never told me home, but he seen me in hotel. Not that he crossed his home, but he just knew what his home boy had put me to. Right. And Gangsta Trey is a real nigga that he they killed on his property. And I hope that nigga don't never see daylight again. It's Jason Drake. Come on, that D. Is a real nigga that y'all would have known. Ain't nobody. Florida boy, seal. None of them ain't gonna double be Jason Drake. This Jason Drake, Drake property, motherfucker. All right, now. That's what it is, and that's what it is. Hold on. What you say, my. What you, what you say, my car look like who? Like who? who I look like, huh? Huh? You already just said it. Yeah. <laughs> And we right here getting the tongue, cuz. You know, he from Detroit, cuz. Yeah, All right, bud. You been one, cuz. Nine, twelve, plus the South Trust. I swear. I swear. All right, man. What's up, man? So, you gotta get to him a couple days before that. Yeah. Little homie got wet right here. And the other one. And that's just one, that's just one. Multiple murders gonna happen right Multiple now. Multiple murders. Yeah. I seen my first murder on that block. What is the majority of the murders about? Man. Like, you, you know. Gang, gang, gang related. Bullshit, uh, sometimes. Gang related, Some, sometimes. Pussy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? These hoes be having these niggas fucked up. It's always but money, the, money, women, and gangs. And the gang. drugs. Gang. <laughs> Nick, well, uh, like that nigga Dave, you said, niggas be, niggas, hell, niggas be dying over boredom. <laughs> right, and it lead to all that, yeah. On me, niggas ain't got that go. These little niggas out here now, a lot of these little niggas got the gang fucked up. They don't, they don't know what's going on. They ain't got the right nigga to guide them. Or they got the wrong nigga to guide them. You did what I'm saying? Right, right. Motherfucking right. listen. Got a motherfucking listen. But, no cap, man. They, they young nigga y'all see right here. They a real young nigga, man. Yeah, shit, bro. Right here, on this set. I'm talking about a whole lot of gunfights, a whole lot of hand fights. Like we done did it all right here on this block. Like you on the hillway. If you if you see a bandana on me, I'm acting. You don't see no bandana on me, man. I ain't I'm on some old shit, man. I'm on I'm on growth. What them GDE be saying, growth and development. Yeah. Now do do they do that blood shit. bloods and crips down here? Like, yeah, yeah. Blood, the bloods and the crips down here, they done brought heads a couple of times, but it ain't no smoke with the bloods and crips down here, man. Cause I mean, do they have people that's like claiming that down here? You know, some yeah, cities don't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, like, you in the crip neighborhood right now? Crip. On the south side, you got the blood. Across the street, you got you got some mafia niggas. They branched out from this crip. You okay. get what I'm saying? Like some of them niggas used to be crip. I ain't gonna say all of them. Some of them used to be crip. And then they got that shit covered up. Right. You do what I'm saying? And you know, I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna take away from no niggas. You got shooters on every side of time. You right. got whole niggas on every side of time. You got real niggas on every side of time. You got fake niggas on that part. You do what I'm saying? Like, but at the end of the day though, 
we just getting to tell you how we grow up. And I ain't, I ain't, ain't no cut on that, no saying. If it, if it's some lies of what I'm saying, somebody please spray me in the comments whenever this shit drop. Alright. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, they all QT. I was telling you about in the NFL, yeah, play for the Detroit Lions. Did his grandma mama? His daddy got his drink. Who just showed straight. you on the wall? That's his daddy. Oh, okay. His daddy put a hell of work just to make sure he make it to the NFL, man. Right, right. So I stayed on. Yes. But the thing about that little nigga QT though, he wanted it. Right. He studied that shit. Like it was it was desperate for him to go to the NFL. He put all his energy in it. He ain't never put none of his energy in this shit that we got going on out here. Right. Yeah. Uh, uh. So, so what, what other place would you say you would want to live if you wasn't living here? If you want to live anywhere else, you, you good right here? Miami. Miami. Everybody said Miami. Miami, <laughs> California, or New York. Oh, okay. The reason why happen. I feel like that though, because I feel like I'm too big for my city. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't it ain't shit. Every time when I went up when I went up north, I adapt the fast. Right. When I went to Miami, I adapt the fast. You know what I mean? Right. I ain't been out to Cali yet, but I gotta take me a trip out of LA because I got some eight trade niggas out there. They're ready for you to come out there and four, four trade gangs. Some 103 great street niggas. I got a bunch of niggas out there ready for you to come out there. I was just out there like a month ago. Okay, follow me at uh OG Head on Facebook. OG Head. O like Okay, G H E A D O G Head on Facebook. And All then right. you can follow at, you can follow me at head dot O G on Instagram. Okay. You know what I mean? And then you are you already gave yeah, your I did, did I ever put a link on that other one? Put on my okay, I'll put that same it's the that's same that's thing. That's okay. That's my my yeah. e, my EP coming out soon. My big brother B Jilza, he just dropped his single called uh Got motion. You know, he got a deal with Kinky B, who had the goddamn record label with Jeezy. You know what I mean? Kinky B got him. He got Drip Goo. He got Lil D. He got Trey Baby. He got one of, he got one of the little five dude Hoover homies out of Texas. You know what I mean? Right. It's a, it's a, it's a major goddamn movement right now. You so, know what I'm saying? You, you had mentioned um, earlier when we talked about your music that you, even though you're from the South, you. I guess identify more with Midwestern. So yeah, is that it, Midwestern would you, West Coast? Would you say your music is more like that, or you say it's more like the South type of music? I'm, I might have that South, you know what I mean, slang. I might have that. Yeah. I might have that South, that Southern goddamn melody in my shit, but it more like West Coast and Midwest, cause that's what I grew up off of. Right, like, right, right. All, all the old head, they had us on the West Coast shit heavy, you know what I mean. But then when I start finding my own way, I like the Midwest nigga shit hard. Detroit, right. Milwaukee, all they shit, you know what I mean? I fuck right. with they shit the hardest out of everybody. So, oh, okay. that's why I say my delivery will come like that. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Here we go. Hey, we on that door side right now. Long Lil Big Dog, Long Lil Dorsey, Long Lil LJ, Long Lil Gangsta Pitch I just want to say thank you for coming out here, showing our love, man. And fuck with us, man. Boy, so, the, the Matt all the way, the way from time. making GA back to the motherfucking D. The to six the mile, seven world. mile, eight mile, nigga. Inside, nigga, it ain't never love. 